next, it's a heavyweight collision between the ultra-popular Brock Lesnar and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Frank Mir. Frank Mir making his way to the world-famous octagon. Mir is extremely dangerous on the ground. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and for a man his size, he's very quick with his submissions. He's also a decent striker and has been at the top of this heavyweight division for most of his career. Frank Mir, ready to throw down and put on a show. Lesnar set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Brock Lesnar is a scary individual. He became the UFC heavyweight champion in only his fourth pro fight. His strength makes him dangerous on his feet and he's got world class takedown skills and nasty ground and pound. Brock Lesnar fired up and ready to go. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Frank B. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Ludwig. Eve Levine, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things you started. Ready, you ready? Mir, Brock Lesnar. And here we Fight. go. Frank Mir, one of the most talented heavyweights in the history of mixed martial arts, and he was the UFC heavyweight champion. He won it with a vicious arm bar against Tim Sylvia where he broke Tim Sylvia's arm. Pushing his opponent away. And another left hand. Over the top of that big right. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Oh, good combination. Sometimes it's better to throw shorter, quicker punches, and that's what we're seeing here tonight. When you put all that effort and energy into a punch and you really wind up, it takes more time to reach the fighter. Nice combination! He shoots in. He takes him down again. Pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. Just throw it. Oh, they're exchanging here. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. He ate that one. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Joe, this building is electric. What a classic matchup. Two minutes remains in round number one. Push kick. Excellent combination. He caught the leg, and another takedown. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five-minute rounds. Reversal. Very nice. 
Joe, he's going to get back up to his feet. Look at how he's utilizing the cage effectively. Just about one minute remains in the first round. He's got over under here from the back. And back to full guard. And into full mount. Round one complete. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to war, Joe. Good, good, good. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches. With Don't chase him. Use your range. A lot of turns. Be sharp with that. You got to work. You got to get your offense deep. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. And here we see the takedown finally get finished. A lot of struggle to get that. And here we see the striking game being neutralized with a big takedown. Right here we see that tremendous counter shot land. Great round for fans of the stand-up game. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Here we go, round two. Fight. And he answers. Wow, that right hand. Oh, ducking in and counters that nicely. He's got double underhooks. Nice job, double leg. Oh, he got reversed. Control his posture. Side control. Nicely done. Pushing his opponent away. Beautiful head kick there. Stopped. And he gets reversed. Oh! He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. Postures up. Oh, he got reversed. Pushing him up against the cage. Tough to do in this position with the cage there for his opponent. Nice, nice. He's and got he's got the takedown. Drop down for a double. He gets a takedown. He pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. And he lets him back up. And now he's answered. He caught the kick. Beautiful hook. Nice counter right hand. Mir is cut open here, Mike. Both guys staying in tight. And now Lesnar is cut as well, Joe. That's the end of round number two. Our Great. fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. I want fours and fives with the punches now, all right? We, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. Three, give me a couple of deep presses. More important, you go out there north. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And look at the speed on this takedown here. So much athleticism. And here we see that punch that landed after catching the kick. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Punches, hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? 
Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Shandella. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Here we go. Round three. Fight. Oh, body shot. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Got the takedown again. And a half guard. He's in full guard here. Pushes him off of the feet. Back nice. and forth. Man, he's working the body. What an exchange here. Come on, have movement. Let your hands go. Countering and scoring big time. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice punches. And he answers. Nice left and a right. Uppercut. Body shot. He caught the leg. Boom. And he's down. And again. Pushing his opponent away. Huge uppercut, Joe. Swing and a miss. Big right hook. Oh, he hits him a right. He's out. It is all over. Oh, that's it. Knockout victory. Wow. How good is that? Brock Lesnar victorious tonight. Look how he throws his body into that. Connects and just puts him to sleep. Perfect technique. Perfect timing. Perfect execution. And a huge victory. Here we see it again. Instantaneous knockout victory. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar wins again. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Shane Carwin and Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Mark Hunt is an elite-level kickboxer. Huge power in his punches, great speed, especially for a man his size. And I doubt there's a man alive with a better chin. Mark Hunt can block a freight train with his face. Mark Hunt, fired up and ready to go. Shane Carwin, making his way to the world-famous Octagon. Carwin is one of the most feared strikers in the heavyweight division. He has crazy knockout power, and he ended his first 12 MMA fights in the first round. He's also an extremely effective wrestler who has the ability to put this fight wherever he wants it. Shane Carwin, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 265 pounds, 
18.9 stone, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Mark Super Samoan Hans. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler who stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds, 17.9 stone, fighting out of Denver, Colorado. He is the former UFC Interim Heavyweight Champion, Shane Carwin! And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get ready, things sir. started. You ready? Mark Hunt, Shane Carwin. And here we Fight. go. Joe, very much like Brock Lesnar. Nice counter right, he's down. He dives into the guard and punishes his opponent. Oh, big overhand right. Big right hand. He's got the double. Good takedown defense. Back to their feet. Carwin is cut open. Duck. Oh, big right hand. It is over. What's up? Oh, it's over. He waited for the opportunity for the perfect counter. And good night. Knockout victory. Mark Hunt wins in impressive fashion. Yeah, let's look at it again. There was certainly bad intention when he throws this one. And here we see it again. And that's it. Here we see it again. Excellent timing on the button. He is still down. He's having a real hard time getting up. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Super Samoan Hunt. Mark Hunt earns the victory.